Hello and welcome to UK Crime Caught on Camera. Coming up on this week's show... Gun dealer busted by armed police. 11 million pound banana coke smuggling gang sentenced to 60 years. Stay where you are mate, there's red dot dumb! Stay where you are! Most Stay wanted you are. burglar is caught hiding under a fence. Cruel to me! Cruel to me! Man jailed for 12 years after petrol bombing police station. A man who threw three homemade petrol bombs towards the open window of a police station with officers in sight has been jailed for 12 years. 31-year-old Voldemaris Ramasauskas hurled the explosives at Huntington Police Station. Three officers were inside and were understandably scared for our lakes. An S doorbell video captured the explosions on camera, along with a man running away. The petrol bombs caused significant scorch damage outside, but never made it inside the building. Police traced Rimmer's house gas after matching DNA on socks that were used as wicks to light the bombs with an old sample from another police force. He pleaded guilty to arson with intent to endanger life and was sentenced to 12 years in prison at Huntington Law Courts on February 8, 2024. 11 million pound banana coke smuggling gang sentenced to 60 years. These mug shots are of four men who tried to smuggle 139 kilograms of cocaine into the UK inside a shipment of bananas. According to the National Crime Agency, that's believed to be £11 million worth of the drug. What you're seeing here is surveillance footage from the authorities. It shows the drug traffickers breaking into the top of a shipping container using a crowbar. What they don't know is that their movements are being watched and tracked by the National Crime Agency. The container had arrived from Ecuador and was searched at London Gateway Port. Border Force officers earlier found and removed cocaine packages from the roof area before resealing it. A few days later, Robert Ball, who according to the NCA was acting on behalf of an Albanian organised crime group, had asked the shipping line to release four containers, including the one he thought had the cocaine. The 59-year-old Cheshire man got a transport company to collect and move the containers to a storage company in Coventry. These movements were watched by the NCA. Ball, along with accomplices Florhan Ibra, Merchant Shah and Amran Kaviani, arrived a few days later on April 15, 2022. Caviani and Ibra were instructed by Paul and Shahu at the storage yard. The two used a forklift truck to access the top of the container. And just as they cracked into it, NCA and police officers moved in to nab it. The four were later charged with cocaine importation offences. Paul and Shahu were convicted by a jury at Warwick Crown Court in May 2023. They were each sentenced to 18 years imprisonment in November at the same court. Ibra and Caviani pleaded guilty at a previous hearing. Ibra was jailed for 13.5 years and Caviani to 12 years and 9 months. Gun dealer busted by armed police. Now we're in the West Midlands, where you're watching armed officers arrest a gun dealer in Birmingham. That man is Tony Graham. According to West Midlands Police, Graham bought legal, obsolete calibre guns, usually intended for collectors. These can't be fired as ammunition is no longer manufactured for them. However, West Midlands Police say Graham managed to legally source and purchase a kit online that enabled him to make bullets for antique firearms. Police say he would get his brother Simon Graham to courier the bullets to other criminals who already had guns that could fire them. Elsewhere, cousins Bernard and Tony Stokes, customers of the Graham brothers, travelled to Ribbery to buy ammunition for an obsolete calibre weapon. 
but following a surveillance operation, they were stopped by police. In their car were two machetes, a knife, as well as four bullets wrapped in cling film hidden in a pair of gloves. Simon and Tony Graham's DNA was found on one of the gloves, while Simon's was found on the bullets. Police found that Simon Graham had supplied a gun which was seized from a gang of armed men in a BMW in Kings Norton in an operation led by the National Crime Agency. A curry sauce jar filled with bullets was found at Simon Graham's house in Ribery. And officers were held by Springer Spaniel police dog and all-round good boy George, who sniffed out a loaded handgun after it was dumped by Bailey McElroy when he and Tony Graham, who had supplied him with the gun, were spotted and chased by police. The gun had been converted from a blank firing weapon to a live firing weapon. Tony Graham admitted possession of a firearm and four charges of selling or transferring ammunition. He was jailed for eight years and one month in 2023. His brother Simon admitted four charges of selling ammunition and was jailed for five years and six months. Bernard and Tony Stokes both admitted possession of ammunition and were each jailed for two years, suspended for 21 months. While Bailey McElroy was found guilty of possession of a firearm and ammunition and was jailed for three years in November 2023. Most wanted burglar is caught hiding under a fence. Stay where you are, mate. There's red dot down. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Okay. Tasers pointed. Red dots. Crawl to me. Crawl to me. Now. Crawl to me. On the floor. Face down. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Okay. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. Hands behind your back. Okay. Meet Dobroslav Gabor. He's one of the West Midlands' most wanted burglars. And this is the moment when the law caught up with him. Along with Marek Balog, police say the duo committed 68 burglaries in just four months. They targeted elderly and vulnerable people in Sandwell, Walsall and Birmingham. Police say Balog and Gabor would walk into people's homes and were known to climb onto roofs to get in via open windows. They posed as workers, offering to clean driveways in order to get access to households. Oh, no, and after they got in, they stole money, bank cards, electricals and jewellery. Gabor was arrested after one of his victims saw him using her bank card in a shop only a day after it was stolen in a burglary at her home. The 26-year-old was charged with burglary and later released by Birmingham Magistrates Court in October. But while out on bail, the duo continued their crime spree. And they went into a West Bromwich property where they encountered an 81-year-old who'd left the door open while waiting for his carers. The man questioned them, but they hit him, knocked him to the ground and threatened him with a knife. Police say they stole money from his pockets and his prized wedding ring that he'd worn for nearly six decades. The elderly man did manage to press his emergency alarm, which seemed to scare Gabor and Balog. They fled, but locked the man in a room and unplugged his phone. He was taken to hospital and treated for injuries, but his health deteriorated and he later passed away. On top of that, they stole money from the pocket of a sleeping man, raided the home of a deaf man and targeted a Birmingham temple twice. And soon, police launched a public manhunt for them. Balog was quickly caught while committing a burglary in Cheshire. Gabor was nabbed a few days later after police found him hiding under a fence panel at his property in Birmingham. In May 2022, Gabor pled guilty to aggravated burglary and conspiracy to commit 67 burglaries. He was jailed for 16 years. And in October 2023, Balog pled guilty to the same offences and was jailed for 14 years and 10 months. 
hundreds of danger drivers prosecuted in West Mercia. This shocking dashcam footage shows bad drivers escaping catastrophic car crashes by the skin of their teeth. These clips were released by West Mercia Police in January 2024 after hundreds of drivers were prosecuted for motoring offences during a crackdown. The offenders were caught during Operation Snap. This saw members of the public upload dashcam videos of the danger drivers to an online portal where the footage was reviewed by officers. That's all for this week. If you're on shots, keep watching for more authentic UK television. If you're anywhere else, please share us around, drop us a like, or subscribe if you haven't done so already. We know every channel says this, but it really does help us gauge what content you'd like to see more of. Thanks for watching.